to share how I straighten my hair because my hair is naturally frizzy, fluffy, it's usually very dry without even having ever highlighted it. My natural hair texture is just very coarse, dry, and frizzy. I used to just try to leave it all natural. I never straightened it, I never blow dried it, and my hair was still fried looking. So if you have a similar hair texture to mine, hopefully this will give you some ideas of maybe products you could use or some ways of just getting a sleeker, straighter look. So let's go ahead and get started. So since I just got out of the shower, the first thing I grab after I have my hair, I kind of just sort of lightly towel dry my hair, and then I take my wide tooth comb and comb it out, starting from the ends and kind of work my way up because I don't want to cause any breakage. And once I have my hair tangle free, then I'm ready for my hair oils. So I like to use Dr. Bronner's coconut oil. I use this stuff for everything. I take my makeup off with it. I use it for like cuticle treatments on my nails and on my hair. So I like to take a combination of oils. So I'll take my coconut oil and then I'll take a mixture of my argan oil. And I just got this at my local health food store for, it's much cheaper than like the argan oil that's in salons and whatnot. You pay like over double. So I have a little eyedropper that I use to get my coconut oil out with. So I'll just take about three drops of coconut oil in my hand. And then I'll take about five drops of my argan oil. And then I just warm that up in my hand. And start at the ends and run it through my hair. I don't want to get like into the roots too much, but I do want to hit like the ends of my bangs because that's where it gets really dry. Up around the front a little. And once those oils are mixed in there pretty well, then I take my wide tooth comb again and just run that through. And then I just let those oils kind of soak in before I blow dry. I want my hair to get a little drier before I start blow drying because I don't like to, well, I like to limit how much blow drying I do. So I'll just let that air dry for a little bit. So while my hair is air drying a little bit, I will share with you what I like to use in the shower. So. I like to use my Desert Essence Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. These are my favorite ones. They are silicone free. I think I shared these in my July favorites too, uh, I think. But anyways, this is, it's 100% vegan. It's wheat and gluten free, no parabens, no sulfates, no petroleum based ingredients. They don't test on animals. There's no silicones, artificial uh, colors, I almost said flavors. Um, yeah, so they're really good. They're completely natural and I really like these a lot. I get these at Vitacost and I will post that link below because I have a $10 off coupon. And if you're new to hair oils and you're trying to figure out how much you should be using, you're going to have to just kind of test it out. I usually just start with a couple of drops and see what my hair can handle. It just depends on your hair type and texture, how much oils it can handle. It also depends on what other products you're going to be using along with it and what your shampoo and conditioner are. So you don't want to make it too heavy on your hair. So just start out light and see what your hair can handle basically. So now I'm taking my Coconut Shine and Refine Hair Lotion. And I just take about, well, about a dime size amount for my hair. My hair is pretty long. And I just rub that together, run it through the ends and work my way up, hit the ends of my bangs. So between the natural oils and these products, it really gives my hair a lot of shine and softness that I've never experienced from any of my other products that I used to spend a ton of money on. Like, I used to go to the salon, not to have my hair done, but I used to go there just to buy like the hair masks and leave-in treatments and expensive shampoos and conditioners. And none of those ever worked as well as what I have right now. And this stuff costs so much less. I'm gonna take my spray here. This is the heat protectant and hair defrizzer. So I'm just going to take my wide tooth comb, spray that on, and I'm ready to blow dry. So I don't have any kind of special blow dryer. I've had this one for probably like 10 years or something. This is the Vidal Sassoon. I don't even know if they still make this. Anyways, that's it. It's all dusty and stuff too. I should probably clean that. 
And after I blow dry, I'm left with something that looks like this, and it ain't pretty. So I'm going to be straightening it because, um, yeah, see that? Yeah, that's that needs some help. So we're going to go over to my vanity over here, and I'm going to break out my flat iron. All right, now it's time to tame the shrew, or the rat's nest, whatever this is. So I start by taking my hair up like this, most of it. I leave a little bit just underneath there. And I'm gonna put the rest of it up with my trusty little clip, just anything like that, just in a loose bun. And I'm just gonna make sure that the hair is tangled free. And this is my miracle worker here. This is my GHD flat iron. It would help if I turned it on. It takes about 30 seconds for this baby to heat up and we are ready to go. So I just take thin sections and just run it through each section once. I don't want to go over it multiple times. Once the first section is done, I take the clip out and I drop another thin section down. Make sure it's tangle free. Next section. And then as I get towards the front here, see all those little tiny curls? Yeah, those, ugh, things drive me crazy. So, I try to just make sure they're detangled really carefully and just run that over them once. And then I turn it sideways and get the higher part up here. And I do it in little tiny sections with it turned sideways. That way you don't have any like weird kinks or anything because if you go like that out it like gives you like these like, you know, elephant ear type things. Or the 80s. So the bangs, whichever way you lay your bangs or if they come down straight, I just take them in little thin sections, slip it in there, and just run it down really lightly. I barely even close this. Okay, other side's done. Now I'm just going to do a few more layers and then I'll show you how I do the very top. So once I get to the top here, I start breaking the sections this way and forward. So I'm just going to separate a little section around the back there. So I'm just going to get the tangles out here. And I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm just going to get right in there and I just want to roll the flat iron this way. And I do that rolling motion to help prevent creases going across my hair. Same thing. And that's all there is to getting sleek, shiny, smooth, silky hair. And trust me, I have exactly the opposite hair, naturally. So to have that finally, I'm just so stoked about it because, you know, this combination of products specifically has just worked so well for me more than any other and they're so inexpensive so that's like a win-win situation so i like for the first time ever i am able to feel my hair and i'm like oh that's what hair feels like it's like soft and smooth and actually has shine and, and it has movement which is amazing it's not like just a bunch of straw just laying there you know so thank you guys so much for watching i will do a like another hair video soon like hair products favorite hair brushes things like that so look for that soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.